Let us compute this determinant of this matrix of with 2010 rows and 2010 columns and the values the diagonals are 2 and the others are alternating minus 1 and 1 we have minus 1 here minus 1 and so on horizontally and vertically and so on and we also have the values 1 between the minus 1s horizontally and vertically and so on this has a nice pattern the matrix but how can we compute the determinant you can try this by yourself before looking at the solution in this video the hint the hint should be just using the properties of the determinants of course that is quite obvious and and what we do here is that we will use row operations and column operations on the matrix until we find a new matrix such that it is easier for us to compute the, the determinant. First, let me define R1 for simplicity. R1 is the first row and R2, second row and so on until R2010, the last row. And, and you can see here that the top of the matrix will be the first row. This is R1. And until the bottom one is the R2010. R2010. And, and similarly, we will define for the columns. Let's see one will be the first column. First column will be the leftmost. And then the C2 is the second column. And until C3, C4, until C2010 will be the last column. Leftmost will be the first column. This is C1 and this one is C2010. Okay, so now by this definition, we can start to compute the determinants by using the properties of the determinant. So we will use row operations and column operations. Notice that if I add the second row here to the first row, we will get the first row will become 1, 1, and then 0, 0, 0 until the end, right, of the first row. And by the property of the determinant, adding the second row to the first row, if we make a new matrix by adding the second row to the first row, then the value of the determinant of the new matrix will be the same as the old matrix. So it is an advantage for us to make it to make a new matrix that is nicer. But before that, let us write the determinant of this matrix as this symbol. So the matrix will be called matrix A. And so by adding second row to the first row, we will get a new matrix and it, the determinant will be the same. This is the new matrix. First row is 1, 1 and then 0, 0, 0. And also, you can notice that we can also do the same thing for the second row by adding the third row, add R3 to R2, and the new matrix will have the same determinant. So our determinant will be equal to the determinant of the new matrix here. The second row is now, now has values 0 and then 1, 1, and then all zeros. And, and again, we do the same thing. We add R4 to R3 to change the third row to make it look nicer, more simpler. We have this new matrix, the determinant of this new matrix. The third row has values 0, 0, and then this is 1, and then 1, and then all zeros again. And of course, we can see that we can see that now what I have to do is I have to keep changing the rows R5 to R4 adding R5 to R4 and then adding R6 to R5 and so on in that order in this order then with this pattern 
continuing this pattern we will get a much nicer matrix and so doing this the the similar operations many times the similar operations many times adding rows to another row we will get this new matrix and this looks much much simpler and this has values zeros here and we have ones ones just above the diagonal it is not the diagonal it is just above the di diagonal and we have all zeros also below the diagonals except the last row here where we have alternating minus one and one and two at the lower right corner so so the idea to solve this problem is that we can keep doing this until we found a new matrix that is simpler to compute the, the determinant and that must be a triangular matrix triangular matrix that is because because the determinant The, the determinant of the triangular matrix is easy to compute that is just the multiplication multiplication of the values of the diagonals so that is the idea so we can do that step by step we can do that step by step by making making the values of the ones one here to be zero and so on by doing that we will have a lower triangular matrix because the values of above the diagonals will be zero and step by step first is we will we will add add the minus of the first column to the second column and this will not change the determinant of the new matrix So we will have this new matrix with the same determinant. We have here at the second column we have we have we have at the top of the second column we have zero and, and then two at the bottom because minus one times minus one plus one is two. And also now we will make this one to be zero. We do the same similar similar operation minus c2 to c3 to make that one at the third column to be zero and we will we will have this this new matrix we have we have the upper two is zero the first two of the third column is zero and the bottom is minus three because two times minus one plus minus one is minus three and we'll do the similar operation again minus c3 to c4 and we will get this new matrix new matrix here the fourth column has the first three values zero and the last one is four and now again add minus c4 to c5 we will get this matrix and you can see that we can keep doing this this we have 0 and then minus 5 here we can keep doing this until all the ones just above the, di the diagonals will be 0 and notice the last row will be, will be changing right continue this pattern we will, we will add the next column using the minus of the previous column and we do that 2009 times and we will end up with this nice matrix and there's a bit of mistake here this is not 2010 at the corner here it should be 2011 because 
because we can see here that at the last row of the matrix we have alternating minus 1 and 1 but the lower right corner is 2 so so we must have 2011 at the corner of the matrix and this we have this is a lower triangular matrix not upper this is a lower triangular matrix because all the values above the diagonals are zero and the diagonals and below the diagonals are not all zero you see here you see here we have a lower triangular here lower triangle here with non-zero values and the zeros above the diagonal so the, the determinant should be easy to compute it is just the multiplication of the diagonals so so the result is 2011 so the final answer for this problem the determinant of the matrix A is 2011